Hello, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate every one of you. I think that God speaks to us in different ways, ways that each of us can understand if we only have our eyes open to see it and our ears open to hear it. One of the ways God spoke to me many years ago after my husband passed away, I really believe God was speaking. I went to my back window where I like to look outside and see the bird feeders back there. And this bird flew over to one of the bird feeders and sat on top of that little shepherd's ark and it stared at me through the window and usually when little birds see you looking out the window it scares them and they'll fly away well this little bird didn't do that he acted very confident and he kept watching me and he stayed there on that ark for the longest time and it occurred to me that Maybe God was speaking to me and kept wanting to communicate something to me. So I went online and I found out what kind of a bird it was. Because I'm really not that familiar about the species of birds. And it was a thrush. I looked up the meaning of thrush. And a thrush bird means faithful. I was so amazed by that. I think God was communicating to me that he is faithful and it gave me such delight and I was thrilled. I really believe God was communicating to me that he was with me after the death of my husband. And the other day I was talking to my close friend Sandy. She lives in Tennessee. I live in Oklahoma. but. Have you ever met one of those types of people that as soon as you meet them, it's like you have a camaraderie between the two of you and you can just understand each other. You're on the same wavelength, so to speak, and that's what happened to Sandy and I. We were roommates in college and we've just been friends all of these years. And we could go a couple of years and maybe not speak to each other and then pick up where we left off the next time we talk. And that's just me, wonderful. That's a true type of friend. Well, we were speaking on the phone, and she says, you'll never guess what happened to me the other day. And I says, what? She said that she has about three and a half acres of land, and a neighbor came over and said, if I built a fence around your property would you allow me to keep my goats in there and they talked it over and she agreed and she said Brenda that's going to save me a lot of money every month for the upkeep of the property and I said well to me if you're real happy with that that sounds like it's a blessing from the Lord and she said and you'll never guess what else happened. I said, what? She said she was going through the drive through at Wendy's. She has a couple of friends that said they wanted some Wendy's hamburgers. So she went through the drive through and she was waiting to progress through the line to get up to the cashier's window. And she was shocked at the price of those hamburgers. I mean, it for two hamburgers, it was over $13. And she was just saying to the Lord, Lord, that's so expensive. And then she got to looking at this old pickup truck that was in front of her. And she was looking at that man that was driving the pickup truck. And she said he had his window rolled down and she could just see that he was sweating profusely and she started feeling sorry for him because he probably didn't have air conditioning in that old truck 
So she began praying for the man, and she says, Lord, help him. It doesn't look like he has air conditioning. Well, the line progressed, and she went on to pay the cashier. And the cashier told her, said, That man in front of you paid your bill. And she was so happy about that. I said, yes, the Lord is blessing your socks off. That was another blessing from the Lord. So, sure, God blesses us abundantly in so many ways, in big ways. But what about the tiny ways, the small ways that other people wouldn't even consider it to be a blessing from the Lord? Well, I just think anything that happens like that, that happened to my friend, or that happened to me many years ago, I just think it's a blessing from the Lord. The Lord is saying, I love you. The Lord is saying, I'm with you. The Lord is saying, do not worry, do not fret. Isn't it wonderful that we have a great and mighty heavenly Father? He wouldn't even have to do a thing for us. But he does because he loves us so much. And I think about that scripture that I read in the Bible one day about God naming all of the stars. He says he knows every star by name. Did you know that he created trillions of stars? Could you remember the names of 200 of them, 500 of them? I mean, there's trillions, and he knows all of their names. To me, that shows how thoughtful God is. He cares about everything. I just love him so much, and I'm so thankful that he pays attention to me, that he pays attention to my loved ones, my friends, and that he pays attention to you. Amen.